In this video, we will calculate land surface temperature. First step is to convert digital number to top of atmosphere spectral radiance. Step two is to convert TOAR to land surface temperature. So let's see step one. In step one, we will calculate top of atmospheric spectral radiance from the digital number of the bands. So step one is to convert DN numbers to TOAR, which is top of atmospheric spectral radiance. So the formula to calculate is L lambda equal to multiplier by Q calc plus the additive factor. So let's see what is in this formula. A lambda is your top of atmospheric spectral radiance. Then your ML is a band specific multiplier. So you will find this number in your metadata file for the specific band. Then you have your band specific additive factor, which you will find in your metadata file. Then your Q calculate is your digital number or the input of the band you will put. So this is the formula to calculate top of atmospheric spectral radiance. So multiplier and additive you will find from the metadata file and to calculate you will get from the band which you have downloaded the file. So now uh, we will see step two. In step two, we will convert top of atmospheric radiance to land surface temperature. So to calculate it, the formula is that temperature is equal to a constant when K2 divided by dash log of constant K1 divided by the top of atmospheric radiance plus 1. So your T is your land surface temperature, your L lambda is EOAR which is top of atmospheric radiance, then your K2 and K1 are band specific constants. So you can find these constants in your metadata file. These two things will be available in your metadata file. So now what we will do is we will sit on your computer and calculate uh, on this using ArcMap. And uh, there are just two steps. First is to calculate L lambda and then to convert L lambda into land surface temperature. Let's see on your computer screen uh, how we can do in ArcMap. In this video, we will calculate land surface temperature. So, what are the steps to calculate land sur uh, surface temperature? First of all, open ArcMap and add the data set of band 10 and band 11. And then we will do similar steps as we did in the previous video, where we calculate, uh, where we uh, export our data with assigning zero values to the no data values, then mosaic it to a new raster, then mask it to a now option. Then we will do steps for calculating land surface temperature. First of all, we will convert digital numbers to top of atmosphere spectral radiance. Then we will convert that radiance to land surface temperature. So let's start doing it. First of all, open ArcMap 
at the scene of Benton of both scenes in our area, Ben 10 and Ben 11. Now load it for another scene. Ben 10 and Ben 11. So now we have loaded Ben 10 and Ben 11 of both, ben, uh, both scenes. Now what I will do is export it with assigning 0 to no data values and I will save it as ben10 underscore the scene value whichever you have. So here I am exporting band 11 of scene 152.42. Ben 11 of 152.42 So I will give it a name Save it So I will save it in my lab 20 I will create a result folder Save it here. Band 11 or 152.42. Save it. Now I will export Band 11 or 152.41. Save it. Sorry, I will assign no zero values to no data values. Save it. Similarly, do for uh, one fifty to forty one point ten. Assign zero value, save. We'll do same for one fifty two forty two. Sorry, I mean assign zero value. Save it. So I will remove this data and add the data which I have created with zero no data values. So you will find that in our lab 20 data result folder. So we have band 11. And then, so now what we will do is mosaic it to a new raster. For doing that, we will go to data management tools, raster, raster data set, mosaic to new raster. So we will go to data management tools, raster, raster data set mosaic to new raster so our input will be band 10 of both scenes output location would be our we will give it a name as like band 10 so I will save it in my result folder I will name it as band 10 
to provide one as a parent and save it. So now we have Ben 10 mosaic. I can remove Ben 10 separate file. Now I will do same for the Ben 11. Give it the same location and name as Ben 11. Number of bands will be one. So now I have both mosaics. Now my task is to extract the Varsha. To do that, I will add AOI file, which is our Navarsha. So I will use extraction spatial analysis tools, extraction, extraction by mass. So I will use this toolbox. Spatial analysis tools, extraction, extraction by mask. So I will take B11 AOI as my mask feature, then name it as put in the result folder. So B11 underscore no option. Dot if. Save it. Press OK. So now it has extracted my V11 band, so I will remove the mosaic image. Now do same for V10. AOI is my last feature. B11 underscore no option dot if scale is an error let's see what's the error sorry so it, it so this is a my naming error because already 11 I have done is B10 so let's press ok so now I have both must areas so then remove other stuff so now I am ready to calculate the land surface temperature using these two bands so to do that we have to first convert our digital numbers to top of atmosphere spectral radiance so for doing that we will go to the raster calculator and put this formula there. So go to our toolbox, special analysis tools, map algebra and raster tool. And map algebra and raster calculator. Now here we have to put this formula which is So I will copy paste the formula here. Just be sure that the b10 underscore nb dot f is the name. So we are saving for uh, band 10. So I will save it as toar band 10. Give it a location. Make sure we are in the same location. So toar underscore b10. There is some error in there, so maybe the error is here. So you can put it the name again. Just for saving. Now it's good. 
all formula is there now I press ok so my TOR band 10 is calculated now I will do similar for B11 so for B11 we will use the same factors but we have to change the TIFF file sorry copy paste from here and just make sure that your image name is ok so, that is. so here we have to save it as EOAR B11 Let's save that's okay so now I have calculated for both bands top of atmospheric variance now next what I need is basically converted to a land surface temperature for this again we will calculate raster calculator and put this formula there because these factors are dependent on the band which we take from our metadata file Band 10. There's some problem here, and these are the quotation mark problems. Just remove it. Now save it. As LST Band 10. Now similarly we will do for band 11, we will copy this formula from here, just make sure that our image is ok, so I will just double click here the image, I will save it as LST band 11. Yes, okay. So now you can give it a color, like give it from red, red range color map. So you can see there we have our low temperature in agriculture areas and high temperature in our desert areas or barren areas. So that's you can differentiate between barren and agriculture areas and also the temperature based on temperature you can do other stuff so I have uploaded one paper uh, where you can see how we can use LST for different applications